We've all heard the term starving artist when it comes to choosing art as a career, but the times are changing and this is no longer the case, especially with the development of social media and developing an online presence. It's really easy nowadays to turn your art and passion into a thriving career choice. You just have to be willing to put in the hours and the hard work, which is often overlooked. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. We are going to be looking at turning your art and your passion into your full-time career. This is incredibly easy to do nowadays and I'm gonna give you some of my personal experience as well as some solid advice on how you can go about doing that. So let's start with getting started with your art career. So one of the biggest problems that you may face is actually your family and friends. It's great if you have a really supportive and understanding group of people surrounding you and pushing you forward, but a lot of us unfortunately don't have that. You'll probably find that you'll often have people tell you that you should get a real job and to actually do something useful with your life. And there'll always be people that will put your chosen career choice down, especially when it comes to art in my experience. But if you are really truly passionate that this is the career and this is the path for you, then you just need to push those comments aside and you just need to power on through with what you want to do and you need to prove those people wrong. That can be a little bit hard to do because obviously your friends and family are important to you and their opinions matter. But you need to make sure that you yourself are happy with your career choice. And by pushing their comments aside, you are gonna really power through and you are going to achieve your dream. When it comes to your art career, there are a bunch of different paths that you can take and loads of different opportunities that may arise for you to go down. And you really need to consider which one is the best for you. For me personally, I've taken two routes. I started with a commission-based business, which grew really successfully, but I soon realised that that income wasn't really scalable and that path wasn't for me so then I decided to branch into teaching which is what you see here on YouTube on my website Patreon and that kind of thing. I also found that teaching and putting out educational content was where my true passion lied. The best thing to do with whatever art career path you choose to take is to build an art style that really resonates with you and to also start to build a good body of work. A body of work is increasingly important, especially if you take like a freelance artist illustrator route, as having that body of work is an opportunity to show your potential clients exactly what you can offer them and exactly what you can do. In that body of work, you want to include your best works, which really represent you as an artist and ones which really portray your style as well. It's also worth noting here that you don't necessarily need to be really, really super duper skilled. Like you don't have to be at the top of your game in order to start your art career. You can still be developing your style and you can still be developing as an artist whilst you start your art career because as creatives, most of us are going on that journey continuously through our career and lifetime anyway. Like the style that you start with when you first start selling commissions or doing whatever you want to do with your art isn't going to be the same as when you finish or when you end your career. It's going to be different and you're going to see a transition of the sort of strengths in your work and also most likely your style as well. So going back to that body of work, or the portfolio as you can call it as well, you want to create one that is both physical and digital. Many freelance artists and illustrators have a website which showcases projects that they've worked on from clients as well as a body of personal work as well. So having a body of work which is digital, it allows your potential customers to see straight away what it is that you have to offer. And having that physical body of work, you can take that into potential clients and you can show them so they can see it firsthand. It's also good to take into something like galleries. So as I said, there are many different art career paths that you can actually go down. I've mentioned commissions and teaching, which is what I have personally done, but there's also freelance work, working with clients, which is 
similar to kind of commission work. You can also go into the Illustrator route and working for studios and doing that kind of thing. So you really need to figure out what it is exactly that you want to do. You might want to be an Instagram artist or social media artist and go down that route and earn your art career and living that way. Whatever you decide to do is completely valid. You just need to make sure that it is the right one for you. You can also take many different paths as well. So you could do commissions and you could teach, you could combine the two if you have enough time and you have the passion to do both. You could do on top of that client work. You can incorporate a lot of different art paths, but you need to make sure that it isn't too much work on you because I'm sure you know as creators, we can become burnt out by doing too much. So just make sure that your workload isn't too much. Otherwise your creativity is going to suffer. When choosing your art path and art career, you make sure that you do your research as thoroughly as possible. I always find research to be something incredibly invaluable. You wanna find out what you actually need for your desired path. So you wanna find out whether the art path that you need actually requires any qualifications or degrees or stuff like that. Now you don't need a degree or a qualification to pursue art as a career, but you will find that many employers hiring an artist do actually require artists or designers to have some kind of academic qualification. So it's well worth looking into beforehand before you decide, oh, I'm going to be an interior designer. You'll find that if you want to be employed by someone and don't want to actually start your own business that you might need an actual qualification or degree. So make sure that your desired route doesn't require that. But as I said, you don't need a qualification or a degree. You can decide to build your own portrait commission business. You can decide to become a YouTube artist, which obviously doesn't require any qualification. You just need to build that art skill. So having a qualification and going to art skill is entirely not necessary. But if you want to go down that route and you want a formal education, that's completely up to you. You do you. If you're looking at freelancing or starting your own business, then the best thing to do is to actually look into business strategies and research what it is that you need to do in terms of business. Some people think that owning your own business and building your own brand and everything is a complete walk in the park, but I can tell you that it is so much hard work work and also many people think that once you've learned everything there is to know about business and that's it but business is continually evolving so you always need to make sure that you stay on top of business marketing and that kind of thing it is always evolving and there is always something that you can learn trust me if you do decide to start your own business, you'll be a lot better prepared with a few business practices under your belt. So have a look at something like Skillshare or look on YouTube for some business advice and best practices. There are loads of free resources that you can find. Even looking on your local government website will give you a few key things that you need to get started like how to do your taxes and that kind of thing so it's really worth looking into that kind of thing if you want to go into or look into the route of owning your own business because it's not a walk in the park there is so much behind the scenes scenes that you need to do away from art so if you're willing to put in the hard work and you want to succeed and be your own boss then that's the route i would decide to take <laughs> There's also a huge array of courses to look at and people to follow, very influential people in the world of business. The best advice I can give you for that is to find someone that you really connect with, that you really understand and vibe with and go from there. Talking to people who are entrepreneurs and business owners themselves will also help you and you'll find that most of them are accommodating for people and will willfully give you advice. So don't be afraid to message a few on Instagram or Twitter or anything and just ask for like, hey, can I have a few key tips on how you started your business? Okay, so I'm going to give you a few tips at getting started with your own business because this is where my expertise lie because this is what I've done. One of the most important factors to business, especially in this day and age, is social media. So you wanna get on at least two or three social media platforms and you wanna make sure that you really engage and connect with your audience on there in order to grow it. Growing your social media following with business in this day, so, so key and crucial. 
you really want to nurture the relationship between you and your followers so you want to make sure that you're replying to comments that you are liking other artists work um, people that are like similar in the same kind of style as you and really connecting with those other people as well so you can build some contacts one key thing with growing your social media following and your presence is to make sure that you are consistent i cannot stress that enough social media is there in the title you need to be social you need to be active and you need to be present on your social media platform so you need to make sure that you are posting often that you are engaging with your audience and that you are there and that will help you really grow and flourish on social media now if you don't want to work on two or three platforms my best advice is to pick one that you really really love Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, any of those, and you want to devote all of your time to it and you want to really try and grow it. The key here for business is building that no like and trust factor, which is absolutely crucial for business. So the next thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a price list. So whether you're selling original art, taking commissions or undertaking freelance work or even offering your teaching services, you want to set yourself a price list and you want to stick to it. If you're just starting out, you don't want to set the bar too high. You want to start with some smaller prices because as you gain popularity and you gain some traction on social media, you can begin to increase those prices it's much easier to increase your prices rather than to set them too high and to bring them down. That's kind of like a bad business practice unless you're doing some kind of sale. So you wanna start off with your prices smaller and then as you grow, you can increase those prices. As I mentioned before, you wanna look into business and you especially want to look into accountancy or bookkeeping. This is really important because taxes are a really important step of becoming self-employed and starting your own business. It may be boring, yes, but familiarizing yourself with these things that actively run and keep your business going is absolutely crucial. If you can't afford to enroll in a course or um, enroll in something like properly academic, then have a look on YouTube for some helpful advice and tips. You know you can find a lot of things on YouTube, but knowing the flow of your money and that kind of aspect within your business is vital. One of the last small tips I'm going to give you is to create a business plan. I can speak from experience here. I love a plan. <laughs> if you don't have a plan and some clear goals for your business, your business will be all over the place and you won't know what's up, what's down, where you're going and where you're at. A proper plan ensures proper and measurable success. Most businesses thrive when a business plan is in place. So you wanna dig out your notebooks, you wanna start getting your Excel sheets out and you want to start setting yourself some goals and kind of the cliche here is look at where you wanna be in five years and go from there. So what about that all important artist income? Your income from art doesn't have to be a pittance. You can actually survive and thrive with an income from your art. As I said at the very beginning, you need to make sure that you are willing to put in the hard work and the effort and the time to build your art. Although if you're going down the route of being employed by someone, you can expect to start off with uh, around a 19K salary if you have some kind of academic degree or something like that behind you that can start you off in that field of career. Uh, obviously the more that you build a portfolio and the more connections you have you have the potential to earn even more and of course again with even more formal training you can expect to earn a boosted amount from the get-go. Of course if you're looking to become self-employed and start your own business and build your social media following and all of the things that I mentioned the only thing standing in your way from earning a six-figure plus income is you time and effort you invest into your business is absolutely everything and dedication goes a really really long way here. At first with being self-employed you're not going to be earning as much as you would potentially like. You may even take like a little bit of a loss in your first year of business but you want to keep the momentum going and you want to keep that passion and build your social media presence, continue building your art style and all of your connections and everything and you will see your business really start to take off and really start to skyrocket. 
With my commission-based business, I was earning around 10K a year, which isn't actually a lot, but it was enough for me at the time to be able to cover everything that I needed to cover. So bills, rent, food, all of that kind of thing. But obviously, as human beings, we obviously are currency and everything that we need is cash and money so the more you can earn the more comfortably you can live so obviously I myself wanted to earn more and my commission-based business uh, just wasn't hitting that goal for me so then I turned my art commission-based business into a teaching based business and now I'm earning upwards of 50k a year. Now I will mention to you guys that it has taken me seven years to get to that point so building a business and building your art career can take a long time but if you are truly truly passionate about it and you have the drive and you're willing to put all of that effort in then you can make a really successful income from selling your art and it doesn't necessarily just have to be from teaching but I will say that it is a good idea to diversify your income and not stick to one revenue stream so you don't want to stick to just doing commissions because there is a limit of how many commissions and how many hours you can actually sit and draw art for in any given day and doing commissions isn't really that scalable you're not going to be earning as much from doing commissions as you will from teaching for example um, but you can diversify your income, you can do commissions and you could diversify by doing YouTube videos as well. So you could add YouTube income to that which has a potential to grow quite a lot as you are aware from qu some quite large YouTubers. So you want to make sure that you diversify your income stream and don't just stick to one because sticking to just one stream isn't scalable and if that one stream fails then you have nothing to fall back on. So you want to make sure that you are diving into different revenue streams and I have a video on how to make money as an artist which I will link in the description and as a card up above for you guys so you can go and check that out and I give you some advice on some different revenue streams that you can potentially go down to earn your income as an artist. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I would really love to know what your dreams and goals are for your art so make sure you leave me a comment in the comment box down below and also I would love to start doing more art business related videos for you guys so if you want any specific advice on any particular aspect of business make sure you drop me a comment so that I know exactly what to do for the next time I release one of these videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already and you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick that bell notification so that you never miss an upload of mine. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.